Good morning, friends, and welcome to my channel, Evolving One Step at a Time. I wanted to come to you today and say, Happy Thanksgiving! It's a wonderful time of year. I love this season. I love the whole traditions of being with your family and being in the kitchen with mom and now with baby girl as well and just being able to have a good time with my extended family. It is such a blessing. But I wanted to come to you today because I know I have shared several things with y'all that hasn't been going quite right. At least it wasn't in the game plan. But I wanted to show, uh, share with you also those unexpected blessings that have been happening. Um, here lately, and, and I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but maybe it's just me actually paying better attention. But lately, I have I've always been a prayer. Always. Um, I was brought up in the church. Um, even when I separated myself from the church for a little while, I was still a prayer even then. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. That's a whole nother story. But here lately, I've been trying to be um, more proactive in regards to praying. And not just necessarily praying because I pray constantly. But I want to pray out loud because I want to... Um, teach my baby girl um, how to call on God and how to um, work through the different situations and knowing that even when things are tough that you always have someone to lean on. So that is something that lately I have really been working on, making sure that when I do pray that I'm praying out loud, let her know that it doesn't have to be a specific time or even a specific reason that sometimes you just need to pray and I've been seeing things going on and happening and I'm like oh my goodness where, where is all this coming from and, and yes I know that all blessings come from him but it just seems like over and over again and so I wanted to share um, and it's not even necessarily things that I voiced that I needed but it was things that I thought about like um, I wanted to get a couple of outfits for baby girl because not saying that she didn't have but <sighs> what she had that was like you know play clothes it was getting a little worn in regards to washing and wearing and things like that so it wasn't even something that I voiced to anybody else. I just said, huh, it would be nice if I went out and picked out maybe two, maybe three little outfits for her, for her on her casual days when she's just playing around the house or when she goes over to grandma's house. Don't want her to be dressed up, but want her to be comfortable, but look nice because I have plenty of nice things that I only allow her to wear to certain places because I don't want her to mess those things up. Thumbs up, mamas that understand that. But I didn't tell anybody and all of a sudden my mom comes over and she's picked her up two outfits, two cute outfits, very appropriate for what I wanted. I didn't tell her I needed that, but she just showed up with it. Another case in point, my sister-in-law, she works at a real retail store, and they're, they're infamous for having great sales. Well, because she works there, and she's constantly seeing the very rock-bottom things before everybody else, she was able to purchase some of those things and use her discount. And she just showed up at my house and blessed me with some of those items, little uh, outfits that aren't appropriate for right now but when the weather warms up again and they are sized up from what she is right now so it's going to be perfect for her the cutest little white sandals that we'll be able to have for her for church socks for me things that we will need and things that I would have spent money on I didn't ask her to do that God just placed it on her heart to do that for us and I mean, really and truthfully, the list goes on and on. I, um, because of the move, we have 
a desk computer that was still over at the house, but it had this big clunky um, computer monitor. Works and everything, but I was like, it would be nice if I had one of those little flat screen monitors and I had been pricing them and things like that at the Goodwill and looking at them new and who the price on them new. I'm like, oh my goodness gracious. So it wasn't in the budget. Well, let's put it this way. It wasn't something that we needed. And so I wasn't going to spend that money on it. And one of my coworkers just said, hey, you know, I was cleaning out my house. I have this keyboard and this monitor so if you know anybody who needs it, let me know. What? <laughs> I need it. Thank you so much. And I could go on and on in regards to all the things that happen. And people just show up right on time with the things that you need. And it's just so amazing to me that Sometimes he does things for you that you wouldn't dare ask because I feel like, oh gosh, I ask him so much and so many huge big things that I'm not going to ask for something simple like a computer monitor. I want it. If I don't need it. I'm definitely not going to say, oh Jesus, please give me a computer monitor. <laughs> I would, no, I just won't do that. But even in spite of he always does things like that and it's such a beautiful thing um, I always go back to the scripture and I think it's like Ephesians 3.20 that he will give you more than you can ask or think and, and every time someone does that I'm like you know something I didn't even ask and he did it for me anyway and that's some wonderful love. It's a wonderful thing. So, I um, just wanted to share that even though things have happened, you know, I, I talked about Murphy visiting my home. It's not all bad, not even close. And it's always so uplifting when I sit down and I think about what's going on and how he's blessed me over and beyond so that was what I wanted to share with you just a couple of things that I am thankful for I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving I hope that you're able to spend it with your family and your loved ones and if you're not I hope you're at least able to speak with them but um, that's all I'm going to say today but I wish you and your family the best, and I will talk to y'all again soon. Thank you so much, and be blessed.